Hi, Hiram here. I got a bunch of uh, stoves and burners and things that I got to catch up on that I collected while I was gone for a while. The one I want to do today is a Tote Titanium Siphon Alcohol Stove. I'm not sure. In my opinion, it's I think it's misnamed on two accounts. I'm not sure what the siphon part is. It looks like a capillary stove where the alcohol soaks up between two layers of titanium here and it's not a stove in my mind it's a burner it's not a stove until you put a pot stand with it we've gone over this before on other uh, things that call themselves stoves uh, this is a top burner stove there's burners on the inside of the top so that means the flame should come up into the center let me just put some alcohol in here. Oops, get some of it in the in the burner. Light that. Hopefully you can see this. Should have gotten out camera two. Okay, that came to a jet pretty fast. Get a close up here. Now there you can see the jets. They're angled in towards the center, so that means this will be nice for small pots, large pots, the whole bit because the flame will be in the center of the bottom of the pot. Like I said, you all, all you have to do is add a pot stand to it and you have a stove. Some of the things with this, the diameter of this is two and an eighth inches or 53 millimeters. The height is one and a half inches, 40 millimeters. It weighs about 0.7 ounces or 20 grams. The capacity according to the Tokes people is a max of 2.7 ounces, but they suggest usually any, using anywhere from 30 to 50 milliliters. Uh, you don't want it, this is one of those stoves, you don't want to fill it up. It'll probably send alcohol all over the place. The Tokes people say the alcohol consumption is about one fluid ounce of alcohol for 11 minutes 30 seconds. So what I'm going to do is just let this burn out so it gets empty. I'll weigh uh, one fluid ounce of methanol in this and we'll do a boil test. So I'll be right back. Okay there I have two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. I have one fluid ounce of methanol in the Tokes burner. Let's light this. Put the pot on right away, start the timer, and let's see how long it takes this to get to a boil and then how long for a run out. Here we are at the two minute mark, the temperature is up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty fast. Uh, a couple of things here that I think you can see are wrong. Now for the pot stand, I went with the one that the Tokes people suggested, three inches tall. I really think it should be about two and a half inches. The burner is one and a half inches tall plus the one inch sweet spot would make that two and a half inches. If you look at the flames, see how, a little warm, see how they're going in and then coming back out? That tells me that it's a little bit too far up. I guess might have to try another test with a shorter pot stand. And we got yellow flames again. Blue at the bottom, but real blue at the bottom, but yellow at the top. Okay, so it's at 134 degrees now, going on three minutes. Let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boil. There we have 210, 211. Come on. to 12 and 5 minutes 54 seconds 5 minutes 54 rather 6 minutes 54 okay so now let's see how long this takes to run out okay there it's going going gone at 10 minutes 
21 seconds. 10 minutes, 21 seconds. Hmm. Okay. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Got to a boil in 6 minutes and 54 seconds. And ran out at 10 minutes, 21 seconds. The uh, Tokes data that they gave, test data, they were in a room 75 degrees Fahrenheit. One uh, fluid ounce of methanol burned for 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So this came up a little short. And it got water to a boil, two cups, starting at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Boiled, came to a boil in 5 minutes, 30 seconds. Now it's kind of hard to reference their data because they started at 80 degrees. But uh, like I said earlier, they suggested a pot stand three inches tall. I really think I should cut it down by at least half of an inch. Or rate, maybe in the next test if you want it, I'll raise the burner up a half inch. But, uh, hmm. Okay, that looked like a pretty hot little stove. It'll be interesting because you could use this, like I said, since the flames come into the middle, top from the top into the middle, you could even do this with a small pot. You could probably even use things like the Evernew Titanium uh, Cross Stand. Will it? Oh, I thought it would fit. Oh, it does fit. So you could use that. Now the TBB, TBBP is distance is wrong. It's way too short. But I don't see why you couldn't make uh, a crossbar thing out of aluminum, raise it up, and get the same, get a good pot stand that way without having to go to the wire, hardware wire cloth. Sorry, just thinking here. Okay, so that's the Tokes Titanium Siphon Alcohol Stove, or burner, I think. Um, I got some more coming up, more other burners and stoves. But I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.